everybody, this is Julie Bean with Be Holic, and in this video I want to teach you how to tie off your right angle weave bead weaving stitch. So this is when you're done with your project and you need to tie off your thread. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. So I have a little strip of right angle weave right here using four millimeter check glass beads. You can use whatever beads you want, of course. And this is just a single row. You could have it much thicker. Maybe you're making a bracelet with three or four rows. I'm gonna do one final row just to show you the ending here so you kind of see where we um, are coming from and where we leave. So I've got my first bead here in this row and you pick up three more. This is just classic right angle weave, also referred to as RAW, R-A-W. So I've got three more beads on there. This is my starter bead. So I put my needle through and we make a loop. And there we go. So we have that end cluster if we are going to be finishing this. So what you're going to do is you've got your thread right here exiting it. You're going to hold on to your beads and we're going to go through the next bead over. So of course we've already gone through that bead with thread. It's already of course connected and we're going to go through the next one and we're just retracing our steps. We're gonna go through the next one. So we're going all the way around the loop. And then I'm gonna actually go back up through that uh, middle bead, which is our anchor bead. Okay, and at this point, we can start to tie off our thread. To do that, you see we've got these thread bridges that are of course connecting all the beads. I'm just gonna go under one of them with my needle, pull my needle through, and then I've created a little loop right there and I'm going to put my needle up through that loop and pull and I've created a little knot. You can even make a knot on top of a knot if you want. So I just did the same exact thing and made a little loop and I'm going to pull it and now I'm going to go through that next bead and if I pull that my little knot disappears. It slips into my bead and it's gone and now I'm just going to go through the, my next middle anchor bead and my next bead over. Again, just following the raw pattern. Okay, so now I've got another little thread bridge. I'm gonna go under it, make that little loop, go through the little loop, like so. Again, you can do it twice if you want. I sometimes feel it's a little stronger if you have a, like a double knot there. There you go and pull it and now I'm going to go up through that middle bead so you'll notice I'm never crossing through the middle I'm just going where my um, thread bridges already exist here I go again and once you've done that a couple times you can trim your tail if you want you can do another knot you can you know weave in your tail a little bit more but I do feel like though that's sufficient Okay, so then you just hold it. So that's been knotted several times. You just hold it and then you're just gonna trim your tail. And that's it. And so what you would do is you would go back to the beginning and you would just pull out your stopper bead and you would do the exact same thing there. And that is how you tie off your thread for right angle weave. Mm -hmm. 